Hello, and welcome to the CBC Connection for today. We're going to do something a little bit new and different. We're going to do our first room rant today. And when I say room rant, I mean in a positive sense, we're going to be talking about the ministries that take place in any given room. And we're going to have maybe have the opportunity to work through uh, other rooms beyond just today. But we wanted to start here in the checkerboard room for our first room rant. You can kind of see around me and behind me that there is the floor has this checkerboard pattern to it, and so that's where this room gets its name. This room is designed for younger children and, and ministry to younger children. And so uh, I would encourage you, if you're familiar with this room, and you maybe even have some experiences in this room and memories in this room, I would love to hear about that. We would love to be able to, uh, to hear about those and to be able to praise God for those experiences and those memories. So please share those with us. If you're watching the video on Facebook or on YouTube, you can certainly comment in the section below. Uh, if you're watching this on the church website, you can just email us and, and share those with us. We'd love to be able to just be encouraged by that and to be able to praise God together in those memories and that uh, growth, hopefully, that we've seen over the years because of the ministry that takes place in this room. So this room has, again, a lot of ministry taking place here. On Sunday mornings, we have chapel kids meets in this room. So ages 3 through kindergarten are meeting in this room from 9.15 to 10.15, and they're doing all of their lesson, their craft, all that stuff happens in this room. After that, on Sunday mornings during the church service, the junior church group, the, the littles group meets in here, ages three through six, and they again do all their craft, their lesson, their songs, all those different things happen right here in this very room, week in and week out when junior church is taking place. We also then have on Wednesday, this room gets used for um, Mom to mom, they take, they have, uh, this is like an overflow room for them for some of the older kids that are doing schoolwork or just need some more space. Uh, and so they use this room for that. This room is also used on Wednesday night for Awana. Uh, the Cubbies group uses this, so that's three and four year olds are in here every night uh, for Awana and they're using this room for their, their lesson time and their handbook time. That all takes place right here in this room. And then on Friday nights, this room gets used in a general sense for youth group. If we're doing a game where we use the whole building, this room is certainly um, able to be used for that. But more specifically, during small groups, after we have the lesson time and we break up and talk about how we implement and apply that message to our lives and those truths, um, one of the groups comes in here and meets for their small group time, and that's the senior high boys, uh, which is ninth through 12th grade. So during a normal week of ministry, this room gets used a lot. And so we certainly have a lot to be thankful for, for all that God has been able to do here in this room in the past and what we certainly pray that he'll be able to do in the future. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that all of those ministries are completely and 100% impossible to do without volunteers. And so the volunteers make those, those ministries possible, whether it's teachers, um, just helpers being in here, you know, junior church in Awana, has helpers in here uh, all the time. All those ministries have volunteers that make them possible. And so we're certainly uh, praising God and thankful uh, for that. Uh, and so this room does get used at times for special events, kind of, uh, like the counseling conferences that we do. This room gets used to, to have the food and the snack and the drinks and all that kind of stuff is all in here. And so um, this room gets used a lot, and so we have a lot to be thankful for. So I would just encourage you today to spend a minute or two praying and thanking God for the past uh, ministry that's been done in this room, the gospel conversations and presentations that have been had here in this room. Uh, we'd also consider praying about the future, uh, the future ministry that God will allow to have happen in this space and helping us to be able to facilitate that ministry for his honor and his glory. Uh, but I would also ask you to pray for currently the kids that are represented by those ministries, um, the children, uh, the teenagers even that are uh, where they are right now. Be praying for them uh, with their families. Be Pray for the families themselves. Pray for the volunteers. Pray for each of the ministries that are represented and the people that are represented by those ministries that take place here in the checkerboard room. Again, we'd love to hear you if you have memories of the checkerboard room and how it's impacted your life or the life of somebody in your family. And otherwise, uh, we hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.